This video is to provide an awareness of the transport of lithium batteries and does not replace the need for dangerous goods or hazmat training. Lithium batteries power many products which we all use in our daily lives, such as mobile phones, tablets and laptop computers. These batteries contain more energy than many other battery types, allowing our electronic devices to run for hours or even days. Lithium batteries are very safe, but because of their high energy, if we don't treat them with care, or if we abuse them, they can catch fire. It is also very important that you only buy replacement batteries from reputable sources, as poor quality or counterfeit batteries have been the cause of a number of fires in the home, workplace and onboard aircraft. We will look at what can happen if lithium batteries are not transported in accordance with aviation safety requirements. We will also explain how some equipment containing lithium batteries may be safely sent in airmail. First, some terminology. A lithium battery is two or more cells which are connected together, for example a laptop battery. Some devices, such as mobile phones and watches, are powered by one or more individual lithium cells. Lithium batteries come in different shapes and sizes, but the most common technology for rechargeable electronic equipment is lithium ion. Similar rechargeable technologies, such as lithium polymer, are treated in the same way as lithium ion batteries when in transport. For portable equipment that's not rechargeable, like watches, lithium metal batteries are commonly used. Because portable electronic devices are so common, billions of lithium batteries are transported around the world, and this is expected to increase substantially over the coming years. Also, new technology allows batteries to contain more energy than before. This means it is even more important that lithium batteries are transported according to the rules. In recent years, we've seen a growing number of fire incidents involving lithium batteries, some of which had the potential to lead to the loss of an aircraft. Mail is carried extensively on board passenger aircraft, both internationally and on relatively short domestic flights. However, experience has shown that lithium cells and batteries are often sent in the mail in breach of the international aviation safety requirements. Both lithium ion and lithium metal batteries can be dangerous if they are faulty, abused or not manufactured to international standards. That's why it's so important that you only buy lithium cells and batteries from reputable sources. Some batteries may look genuine, but as with this example, they may be counterfeit. Faults can occur if batteries are abused or damaged, for example by being punctured or dropped. To ensure they are safe for transport, all types of lithium batteries must pass stringent tests. Batteries which are not tested, for example counterfeit items, pose a significant risk to flight safety. Counterfeit, faulty and abused lithium batteries, and those which have not been protected against short circuit, can experience something called thermal runaway. This results in them getting so hot that they can catch fire and ignite other nearby batteries. Any fire on board an aircraft, particularly one involving lithium batteries, has the potential to be catastrophic. Cells or batteries that are defective for safety reasons or that have been damaged are forbidden for air transport as these are more likely to catch fire. Here we see the fierce fire resulting from 5,000 lithium ion batteries that were set alight for test purposes. In this test, we see what happens when lithium metal batteries are ignited. Whilst the cargo compartments of passenger aircraft are fitted with fire suppression systems, these may not be effective against lithium battery fires. Clearly, there must be controls over how dangerous goods, including lithium batteries, are transported. The Universal Postal Union, or UPU, considers what dangerous goods could be sent safely in mail and then seeks the agreement of the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, who determine the requirements to ensure those dangerous goods can be carried safely in air mail. The UPU and ICAO requirements do not permit lithium batteries to be sent in international mail unless they are contained in equipment. Does the phone contain a lithium battery? Yes, they're inside the phone. The prohibition on uninstalled lithium batteries applies to all types, including lithium button and coin cells, and most countries apply this prohibition to domestic mail too. Lithium batteries contained in equipment may only be sent if the mail service accepting the mail from the sender has been approved to do so by their civil aviation authority. However, some countries don't accept lithium batteries contained in equipment in air mail. Your mail service can advise you on this. The key requirements are as follows. Check that your postal service accepts equipment containing lithium batteries and whether other conditions apply. For example, it may only be permitted to present them over the counter. For equipment powered by one or more rechargeable lithium-ion cells, such as a mobile phone or a camera, 
the rating of each cell must not exceed 20 watt hours. The watt hour rating of lithium ion batteries of larger devices, such as laptop computers, must not exceed 100 watt hours. The cells or batteries of common consumer electronic devices, such as mobile phones, tablets, and most laptops, fall within these limits, but the batteries of high powered equipment, such as e bikes, will exceed them. The watt hour rating should be marked on the battery, so you should check this if in any doubt. For equipment containing non rechargeable lithium metal cells, the lithium content must not exceed 1 gram. Typically, cells of up to double A size fall within this limit, but C and D cells often exceed it, and if so, are prohibited. For equipment containing lithium metal batteries, the aggregate lithium content must not exceed 2 grams. Equipment containing cells or batteries must be secured against movement within strong, rigid packaging, and must be packed so that it cannot be turned on during transport. Any exposed terminals must be protected against short circuit. Each package must contain no more than four cells or two batteries installed in equipment. The maximum net quantity of cells or batteries is 5 kg per package. The sender's name and return address must be clearly visible on the outer packaging. It is imperative that these procedures are followed to ensure the transport of lithium batteries contained in equipment is safe and does not jeopardise an aircraft or its passengers and crew. For more information on the prohibitions and restrictions on dangerous goods in the mail, check with your postal service.